Yo, what's up guys, DJ Rick Webb. I'm out at a wedding right now and I wanted to film a quick little impromptu video talking about tips on things you need to bring to your wedding. Like things you guys should bring, especially during the hot summer season. Uh, little things that I bring that you might not think about. So let's talk about that and let's go through what I got here. First thing, coming around the back, get yourself a fan. I'll link this one down below. This thing blows extremely fast. We're only on setting one. This thing keeps me cool, especially at outdoor venues like this where we have no AC. This thing is a game changer, lifesaver, everything. Bring a fan, that's tip number one. Tip number two lies back behind here and that's this right here. A cooler full of drinks, in our case, water and caffeine. Two most important things ever and Along that, tip number three inside of that bag right there is snacks, crackers, sorts of food that we can snack on if we get hungry. Food, water, water is huge, especially again, outdoors, bring water. Tip number four, and this is a backup in a way. Computers, backup computers. I have an onslaught of backup. I have my main computer, I have my secondary computer, and I even have a third computer nowadays. So this one's the dedicated Show Express one. This one's like, it's, it's getting of age. It can run Show Express, it can do emails, that's about it. This one's my new one. This is kind of my go-to portable laptop, love it. So this is the backup, that's the main one. Have backup computers, it's important. Tip number five. This has to do with fatigue in your feet. Bring a fatigue mat. These things, they're the kitchen mats, they're foam. You can step on it. It is a game changer and saves your feet beyond demand. And I think we need to get Drake one, honestly, for back behind the booth. I just kind of realized I, I get to use this, but Drake stands on concrete back there and dirt and whatever else is. But my feet are comfy. My feet are great at the end of the night. Get yourself some nice shoes, get yourself some nice insoles. Tip number six, and this is back here. I need to make a video on this. Get yourself a tote and make yourself a gig tote. This thing has everything you could ever imagine in it. We got a first aid kit, we got a hammer, we have gloves, we have an assortment of cables, we have cleaner, we have mic sanitizer in here, we have extra backup mics, we have extra batteries, we have Allen keys, we have two to three prong adapters. I don't even know what all's in here. Here, I'll give you guys the list. It's on the actual tote. We have the list so we can make sure everything's in here. I'll give you guys a few seconds here. You guys can screenshot it, pause it, look through the list. This is everything we keep in the gig tote. This is the additional stuff. None of this in here is necessary, but it's all additional stuff that we bring that makes our lives a million times easier and the lid's already cracked when you get a new lid on that. Tip number seven, this involves bringing up when you arrive. There's a reason why I'm able to film this video right now before the wedding and that is because we arrive with ample time to set up. Whatever your setup time is, come three times that time. For us, it takes us like an hour to set up. So we show up normally about three hours ahead of when we need to set up. An hour is pushing it. Normally, it's like 45 minutes for the setup we're doing here. Like if we have lighting, then it's like an hour. So get yourself a system in place so that you can set up fast, so you can tear down fast, and then also arrive with ample time. You need ample time to get yourself set up so that way you can chill, film videos like this maybe, relax, hydrate, change, feel fresh, feel good, rehearse. It, it's awesome, it's important. Tip number seven, there you go. And the final tip, tip number eight, get yourself an assistant. I'm sorry guys, you guys that are single ops and that, like I feel for you guys, I've done it before. Get an assistant. It makes your life a thousand times easier. It doesn't have to be someone that knows how to DJ. Drake knows how to DJ, but I got other guys like Gabe that don't actually know how to DJ. And getting an assistant makes your life a million times easier. It's set up faster, you tear down faster, you get to roam around. Like if you need to go troubleshoot something, you got him. If you, like it's, um, Get an assistant. It's amazing. It works so much better. You guys are charging enough that you can afford to pay someone a hundred bucks to come out and help you with your event. Doesn't matter who it is. Get yourself an assistant. You guys might question me on that, but it, it's so worth it to have an assistant. So worth it. Hands down. Wouldn't do it again without an assistant. I've done it. It sucks. I've gone back and had to do it. It sucks. Get an assistant. Tip number eight. There you go. That's the best tip, right? Darn right, darn right. Anyways guys, that's all for this quick little video right here. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful wedding season. Wedding season for us is like nonstop. Uh, we have events every single weekend, um, so. Anyways, just a little fun little on the road tips video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to click the like button, leave a comment down below, any tips you guys got. I might have missed some. This was all off the cuff, random tips that I thought of. Um, there you guys go. Anyways, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Uh, links to everything I talked about in the description down below and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.